All right, I'm here today with the Instant Pot Duo Plus with Whisper Quiet technology. The Duo Plus has been around for a while, but this is the first one that they've kind of, um, it's, it's had a little facelifts over the, over the years, but this one they've kind of re, redone the lid, which is awesome. So I'm Jen from Pressure Cooking Today, and I'll tell you what you need to know about this awesome pressure cooker. Um, so first, as you can see, it's gray. It's not the typical um, stainless steel and black. Um, I think they did that to help you know that this one is the Whisper Quiet one. Um, but I like it. One of the things I love uh, is the redesigned lid. It has no metal on it. So if I'm not paying attention and I put my hand on it, I'm not going to burn it, um, which is really nice actually for me. So the, the thing that makes it Whisper Quiet is this redesigned lid. As you can see, it's got this cool kind of cover with like a little snaky thing through there. Um, it just pops off and you can see it's got it when the steam comes out, it kind of weaves around this little snaky thing and then comes out these two vents right here. Um, and then this is your typical um, knob, your steam release valve knob. Um, and then your, your little float valve is hidden under this uh, little rubber gasket piece. Um, when you are cooking foods that foam, um, this will, will help prevent the foam from coming up and out and spitting. So that's really nice. Um, it, you don't have access to the float valve like you do in other models though, so just be aware of that. Um, I typically take this out and wash it every time. I'll, I'll have my sink filled up with sudsy water. I'll get it in my hands, kind of rub it around with the soap, rinse it, and then I immediately put it back in there um, just because I don't want to lose it. Um, and then this lid, it's got a little, uh, two little notches that fit right into the notches on the lid. Put those in first and just kind of pop it down till it clicks. Uh, the other thing that's different about this is the, uh, the button where you actually do to release the steam is up in the front, which is really nice when you're cooking. Um, just, oh, it just pops back and forth. Um, so it's right up there. Um, these little, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. The little puff of steam is the release valve, uh, the release option and the, one with little wavy lines is the uh, pressure lock. Another thing that I really like is the display. It has the same kind of dot matrix uh, message giver underneath it that um, is similar with the Instant Pot Ultimate Lid, uh, which is another new model that came out in 2022. Um, if you're interested in that one, we've got the link in the description. Um, but it, it tells you things like it's okay to open the lid or preheating or it kind of gives you a little bit more about what's going on in your pressure cooker. So if you're a little bit nervous or unfamiliar with an Instant Pot, this is a great model for first time users. All right, so then under the lid, you've got your ceiling ring. It came with a clear ring and a red ring. We use the red ring for our sweet foods. So you can tell last time we used this, we were cooking something sweet, um, our applesauce. And it's got the same, just like a normal Instant Pot uh, lid. It's got this little valve that can, this little metal gasket that can come off. I take this off, wash it the same way in my hand and then put it back in. Um, and then here's the float valve right there. Again, I'll pull that little rubber gasket off, silicone gasket off, and then um, wash it and put it back on. However, you can, this lid is top rack dishwasher safe, so if you prefer to just do everything in the dishwasher, you can absolutely do that. All right, so I am, real quick, we'll zoom in and we'll show you an up close of pushing the buttons on the Instant Pot so you can kind of get a, a good look at the display and get a good look of how to pressure cook and saute um, in this awesome machine. All, almost all of the recipes on our site use only pressure cook and saute buttons. So you wanna make sure you're extra familiar with those because that'll get you doing 99% of what you're gonna wanna do in your Instant Pot. Um, but as you can also see, there's a yogurt button, there's a cake button. Um, a lot of the great features that you're used to on Instant Pot are on this machine as well. All right, so with the display, you can see it's got the little um, underneath part, it's got the words. Um, you can hit, you, Pressure cook, custom, you've got your cook time. Um, if you're setting a custom cook time, you have to press this button first as like an enter button. And then you can adjust the cook time up or down. Um, and then if you hit enter, you can also adjust the pressure from low to high. Okay, so then when you are ready, you just hit the start button. And it, actually, I love that the little words, the dot matrix display will tell you what's going on in the cooking process. So you can tell it's preheating. It's got some little bars here that tell you how far along in the preheating process. If you're impatient like me and want to know how close you are to being done. Okay, so for the saute setting, when you hit the saute button, you see it immediately tells you open the lid. Um, it will not let you do it with the lid on. So hit cancel and then hit saute. And now it's like, oh, I'm happy. Um, I usually never change this. Um, you can if you like, and you can change the temperature from low to high or custom. If you set a custom cook time, I love or a custom cook temperature, I love that it actually tells you the 
um, like the degrees Fahrenheit that it, the pan is heating up to. Um, just note that you can't change, like I couldn't change this to 270 if I wanted to, they're just kind of preset. Um, but I like the different, the different information you have. So you've got one through five. Um, five is what you'd want to use for like searing meats, whereas a one is for a very gentle simmer. So when it's set right and it's the um, temperature you like, you can just hit start and it'll tell you it's preheating. Um, and I generally like to wait for my pan to be hot before I add my cooking ingredients. So that's the saute feature. Um, so the Whisper Quiet one still does make noise. It's not silent. They, on the Instant Pot site, they talk about it being about 30% more quiet than other models of Instant Pot. I do like that it doesn't come out in a big whoosh. It comes out a little bit more gently, um, but it still is a pressure cooker. And so as it's releasing steam, um, you will still be able to hear it. So I think that's it for this awesome model of pressure cooker. We've been really happy with it. It's been really fun to cook in. Uh, the cook times on all our recipes we've tried so far in it have been exactly the same as in other Instant Pot models on our site. Um, so if you have any other questions, leave it below in the comments and we'll make sure to answer them. Um, and thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.